So like I was saying, I was at the hospital that morning when Mobad arrived. He came with one guy, the same guy that his video was trending on social media that was shouting, Mobad is dead, Mobad is dead. And that's why I told you that that guy, he had a lot of questions to answer because he know a lot of things that Nigerians don't know. The same guy he came with, and he is the same guy that took him out of hospital. Now, I was at the hospital that morning when he arrived, and I even took a picture with him. I will send you the picture. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. The exact cause of Mobad's death remains a mystery to many of us. With his father also rushing to make sure Mobad gets buried as soon as he was dead. Even eyewitnesses and the ballet of Mobad's father residence also claim Mobad's father wanted to bury him the midnight of the same day the talented singer died. Why would you want to do that to your own son, your breadwinner? Watch the video guys and see how the ballet narrated everything Mobad's father did immediately Mobad died. <laughs> An eyewitness at the hospital Mubad visited before he was announced dead has come out to make it more clear how Mubad was killed and the guy who was in the car with Mubad in the viral video where he was announcing Mubad's death should be pinned down by the police. The eyewitness claimed he was at the hospital when Mubad arrived and he even took a picture with Mubad. He also went on to let us know Mubad went in after this picture and in less than 20 minutes the old nurses and doctors in the hospital started running Elta Skelter. When he asked one of the nurses, they told him Mubad was given an injection and he collapsed. After this same guy in the viral video came in with some guys, they took Mubad away in that same condition. Now, the question is, why was Mubad not given proper care even after this at the same hospital? Why has the same hospital not come out to tell the public Mubad came to their hospital? That's number two. Number three is, where did this guy pick Mubad from, the guy in that viral video? All these questions need to be answered and Mubad's father also needs to be held down and give reason why he was struggling to bury his son immediately and not allow his son be given a befitting burial with autopsy carried to know what killed him. Watch the video guys and listen to everything the guy said that happened at the hospital before Mubad's death and let me know your opinion in the comment section is not uh, connecting so like i was saying i was at the hospital that morning when mobad arrived he came with one guy the same guy that his video was trending on social media that was shouting mobad is dead mobad is dead and that's why i told you that that guy he had a lot of questions to answer because he know a lot of things that nigerians don't know the same guy he came with and he is the same guy that took him out of hospital now i was at the hospital that morning when he arrived and i even took a picture with him i was send you the picture i will send you the picture so when he came i was i was happy to see him i i requested if i can take a picture with him and he said no problem though i noticed he, he looked so down he was looking so uh, down that morning i was not happy initially because they gave me appointment uh, uh and i got there uh, i stayed there for almost an hour they told me that the doctor is not around so at the time i got angry and one of the nurse they came to like calm me down that the doctor will soon arrive so while we were talking mobad came in with the guy so i saw him and instantly i was lightened up and i was like ah mobad i used to listen to your song i'm one of your fans can i please take a picture with you and he said okay no problem so after taking this picture with him he went inside he went inside and I was sitting down at the reception there. I was just looking at the picture. Then after 20 minutes, 
at, after 15 to 20 minutes that he went inside, started noticing that they were just moving around. A lot of confusion. I couldn't understand. I noticed that they were trying to make call. They were trying to call some, some people. The nurses, they were just walking around. And something was not just right so i have to like stand up i needed to ask someone like what's going on because at the time i was even like and like, i was even like kind of afraid uh, if i'm safe there so i have to like uh, i saw the nurse that was trying to like calm me down earlier so i called her and i was like ah, what happened she whispered to my ear that they gave me bad injection and he collapsed so i was i was shocked but i wanted to shout before I know, even the nurse I was, because I wanted to like ask her, ah, well, what happened? Before I know, she left me. So I was kind of confused. In that confused state, I was just standing around. Before I know, before I know, before my own very eyes, this same guy that came with a, a Mobad, a rushed in out of the out of the hospital, shirtless, out of the hospital, and the whole everything just happened, just happened so fast. Uh, it, normally, okay, you gave a patient a, 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 an injection and he passed out. At least the hospital will do something or try something to at least try to resuscitate him or try to do something. Even if he passed out or maybe he's confirmed dead, he's finally confirmed dead. She, maybe the hospital will, will even be the one to even arrange properly to even take him to mortuary or so. But the guy with some, with, uh, some nurses, they were the one that rushed this guy out horribly. In my presence, and I was so confused. I was like, "What is going on?" I tried to ask questions. Nobody answered me. And at the time, I didn't even. A letter did not even take my. Uh, a letter did not even take my injection that I went there to to take. So, <laughs> God, oh God, oh God, oh, this life. <laughs> There's nothing in this life. There's nothing at all in this life. <laughs> This is so what I saw. I saw him in my own eyes that morning. I saw him. I saw him. I took a picture with him. I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. This is why this thing is pending me. We're alive. We're alive. It's like, what? Before I know, I was still at the hospital. I was still at the hospital. I was still at the hospital when I heard the news that he was dead. I was like, so quick. These people did not even try to do anything self. They did not even, in fact, these people, they did not even, they did not try at all to help this guy. Like, it was deliberate attempt. <laughs> what, I know everything that happens in that place. Do you know that that day I went to that house, I slept at the security gate. I didn't know how to get home. I had to tell people that people are chasing me. They give you, they list you a drug. That drug does not, that drug, when they list you that drug, you will not know where you're coming from. You don't know where you're going to. That drug is like MD. They'll put into your NSC or your water or your drink. They take me, C Black was the one that told Nayamari to give me that thing. I had to go to the gate to tell the script that people are chasing me. I don't know that chasing me. That drug makes you, make you make you feel like people are chasing you. Do you understand? When they chase you, when they, when they just, the things that you're supposed to say, I've been in that place when the girl lost her life, yo. I'm just trying to keep myself anonymous though. Mubad knows about all these things. Yeah, dig. So on that day, first of all, the old settings that happened in that place from the inner from the inner house, there's a guy called Chief Priest. Yeah, that Chief Priest, first of all, the show he brought to Mubad, because Mubad is not supposed to perform any crew, dude. It was all set. There was a trap. There was a trap. Do you understand? Now, when Mubad got to that place, when he got to that set into that party, what really transcribed, I didn't really know what transcribed, but when Mubad was not really dead, he wasn't really dead. The loss that gave, according to Ina House here, the person that gave that guy that injection. Thanks for watching, guys, and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, stay blessed.